Hello my disco dollies, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another rave vlog. I am so, so excited. I'm honestly loving the raves I've been going to recently. So today we have a rave in the O2 Academy in Glasgow. We've got Dad and Styles, TNT, Gamma. I think this is gonna be a really fun night. I've not been in the O2 Academy in so long. But first, let's do a wee quick outfit check. I'm really loving this. This is a pure rave Barbie outfit. Fuck this, this is from Go Guy. This is from Bear and Bambi. They've got the Moss Chino banding, a wee chain, just the usual pink bun bag and a pair of black shorts. I'm keeping it nice and simple. Yes, I think we should just get our Raven shoes on and let's go. Wow. <laughs> 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 What shape is your favourite colour of the alphabet? That's a good question. Where are we going? Ah! Right. What number are you? I don't know, I can't read. I can't are, you, read. are you negative? I'm blind, I'm blind. There we go!
right so we are finally home and it is the next day so overall the night was good but it wasn't that great not going to lie this is just my opinion i don't know if it's the o2 venue that i'm not keen on but i don't know i don't really i don't really know how to put it into words you know how you just go through some raves and you're like wow that was amazing and some raves are just not that great Honestly, I think it's because in the O2 Academy, the queues to get in were ridiculous. It was probably about, well, the gates were meant to open at 10 o'clock and it got to about 11 and the queue hadn't budged. I know it's quite bad, but we ended up just skipping the queue to get in. The speakers kind of sounded muffly. I just don't know if it took time for my hearing to adjust to it, but the speakers were muffly. The sound wasn't that great and the atmosphere wasn't that great either. Um, I think a lot of people, not that you need to be like not sober when you're at these events, but I think the the huge queue wait, like everyone had sobered up so by the time they got in the queues for the bar were really really long and the crowd were just kind of standing around and obviously TNT were playing at this point and me and Lee were going crazy but so the crowd, the atmosphere just wasn't there compared to some events I've been to in the past. I remember just kind of turning around to Lee at some point and being like man what's with this crowd I don't know what's going on here but I think it's because you couldn't actually hear some of the tunes that were playing you really had to listen but yeah when it got to the end of TNT set that's when it really started to pick up and everybody started to go a wee bit more crazy I think everyone started to relax a little bit but again it started to get busier and busier I honestly felt like a sardine there was no room to dance no room to move it was such a struggle trying to get from A to B and the place was an absolute sweat box <laughs> don't get me wrong obviously still had a really good time because I was with my friends and I was having a dance and, Oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever sweated that much at a rave in a very long time. <laughs> and obviously when Dad and Styles came on, the crowd atmosphere just went wild. And it made me think that maybe some people that were there were just there to see Dad and Styles. I don't know if it's just the type of people that were there, if they're only there for Dad and Styles or the O2 venue and the queues to get in. But yeah, it's a shame it wasn't the best of raves, but obviously any rave is better than no rave. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed this short vlog and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!